I have a very well-versed and experienced real estate investor looking to park $200,000 in the Cleveland market. Ryan from Florida, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. Gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I am your host, James Wise, and this is your show, folks. This is the show where I work with you one-on-one -on -one to help you build or continue building your real estate portfolio. Now, my client, Ryan. This is a cat out of Florida, and this guy is, uh, he's loaded, right? He's, he's had a very successful career. Uh, he has done uh, very well for himself, and he's very diversified already. He's got stock. Uh, he's got all kinds of stuff. He's got stock. He's got real estate in multiple states. Uh, he's investing down there in Memphis and Dallas, and he wants to park a little bit of money up here in Cleveland. Now, Ryan, you're looking to spend 200000 and that's cash, and you don't want to finance it. Now, normally I would try to talk you into financing because I think that's the best way to get started in the business, but you've already, you know, you've already started, you've already crossed that bridge, and uh, you know that the only negative to these residential mortgages is you only get 10 of them. Uh, but you are planning on saving your 10 for more high-cost real estate down there in the Dallas market, which makes total sense. If you only get 10, you want to maximize the amount of leverage. So being as uh, the properties here in the Cleveland market are priced much lower, you're not going to get as big a bang for your buck. So that, in your particular situation, makes a ton of sense. For everybody else who's watching Ryan's video when I finally do publicly release this on Holton Wise TV, if you're just getting started, I think the best way to get in the game is to leverage those funds. So unless you're an incredibly wealthy guy like Ryan, who's already well diversified and has got properties strewn across the United States, I think finance is going to make some sense. And if you want my list of lenders, just send me an email, sales at holtonwise.com, and we'll get those to you. But for my guy, Ryan, totally makes sense. Let's just do some cash deals. And because you're doing a cash deal, Ryan, uh, you can get some serious bang for your buck because you don't actually need the property to be in very good condition. You know, you could do uh, a nice renovation, right, and get a property that's kind of distressed and get it for a price that is better than what you would normally get. And that's what I've found for you here. 3348 West 48th. I'm sorry, 3348 West 97th, uh, Cleveland, Ohio, 44102. This just hit the market today. They just put it on, and I was looking for properties for you, and I'm like, this thing is going to be perfect. So not even a full day on the market. It is priced at 59900 And this thing, brother, is beat. It is beat up. It, it is rough. Um, but that's, that's how we make value out of real estate. We create value by taking rough properties. Now, the floor has got all this black stuff, but don't be too afraid of that. What we have here is we got some pretty solid bones, man. Like you take my team, we get in there, we refinish these hardwoods, we paint all the walls agreeable gray, we go white on that trim. This thing will be shining. We'll put a new vinyl allure flooring in the kitchen. As far as those kitchen cabinets, uh, I'm going to have to rely upon my team. I don't know if these are salvageable or if they just want to rip them out and do some new Home Depot Lowe's quality cabinets. But other than that, you know, it's just a lot of cosmetic stuff. Obviously, we're going to need to get rid of the pink. We're going to need to get rid of this here uh, pink toilet, pink sink. As far as the tub surround, I don't know if we would replace that. We actually probably wouldn't replace it. Don't worry, we're not going to just leave it. Um, pink or anything of that nature, but we would probably just uh, do a reglazing over that, save you some money. But we'll get the bathroom looking nice and modern. And it's just more of the same. Just everything is rough and, and, and ugly looking. Uh, as far as these cabinets go, though, these are actually in pretty decent shape. I would imagine we would definitely salvage those. Those actually look kind of cool. 
um, those could uh, look pretty well, you know, look pretty nice in the property with uh, the proper amount of modern finishes throughout the rest of it. So that unit could look pretty nice. It's hard to tell what's going on here in the basement. The listing agent, they didn't really say anything other than the property needs repairs and it's being sold as is. Now over here, that the picture's a little blurry, but that to me, that looks like a hot water tank, which is laying on its side, which means... You know, there's probably no hot water tanks hooked up to this. I don't see furnaces here. This is a nice sign, though. This is what I do see. You see how you can see it? It's red and it's blue. That means at one point there was copper. The copper was probably stolen, if I had to guess, and the current owner replaced it with PEX. You get into these C-class neighborhoods. That's what this is. This is a C-class neighborhood. When they go vacant, uh, yeah. Guys, folks, they're going to come in, they're going to steal that copper. Um, but what we do is when we replace the plumbing line, we don't put copper in there again because you can't scrap plastic, you can't scrap PEX. So it's nice that there's already some PEX. So that's going to save some cost. I would assume the rest of the plumbing in the home is pretty pretty good because like right here you see the lines are right here too for the washer and dryer so that's already intact so you might need to put in some new hot water tanks but it doesn't look like you're going to need to run all new plumbing lines look like that's already been done for you but of course that is something you're going to need to have your home inspector verify as for the exterior this driveway and garage looks to be in pretty rough shape as far as the driveway goes it's not ideal but Cleveland, they don't have a point-of-sale inspection report like some of the suburbs around here do where the city would make you actually fix that. They would require you to fix that right after you purchase the property or before you transfer title as part of the point-of-sale inspection process. More information on the point-of-sale inspection process and how it all works is in the show notes. I don't want to dive into that right now. But the moral of the story is since your property is in Cleveland proper, even though it's not ideal to have a crummy driveway like this, it's not really going to affect the rentability of the property, number one. And number two, I don't think the city's going to get on your butt. In addition to that, the garage, it's just an old crummy looking lean-to garage. I don't anticipate it's cheap to fix it. It looks like it's on its last leg. So what I would do is I would just... Let's just tear it down, spend a couple grand, just get rid of it. It's also not going to affect the rentability of this particular property. And the city, unlike some of the other suburbs with point-of-sale requirements here in the Cleveland market, the city's not going to make you rebuild a brand new one. So it's very common to have these duplexes in this type of neighborhood. As a matter of fact, we got hundreds in the portfolio where we just tear that garage down. So just, just get rid of the garage. Don't worry about it. As far as what you're going to get after you renovate this property, after you do all that stuff, we should be able to rent this property for $750 each unit because each unit's two beds, one bath. So you're going to be bringing in $1,500 a month or $18,000 a year. As far as price, it's 59900 right now, but I think because it's so beat up and because these particular sellers are distressed and they are going to need a cash buyer, that's going to limit their pool of buyers. I think we could actually get you a pretty solid deal. I am anticipating that we target this and we try to get this thing locked up for you for 50000 You know, you're going to make a very clean $50,000 cash offer. The only contingency, of course, will be your inspection. And then when the inspector gets in there, that could change the bid I'm about to give you. But I believe from everything I'm seeing, it appears to me we should probably be able to get this thing buttoned up, ready to rent for $750 per unit for approximately $25K. So you're looking at approximately $75,000 is what I think you're going to need to be all into this investment to get $1,500 a month. Now... Of course, we're going to want to make this offer contingent on inspection. And after that inspection comes back, there could be more things. Like, I didn't see furnaces in that particular picture of the basement with the listing agent. They're not saying anything about what's going on with the furnaces one way or the other. We did see the... Uh, hot water tank on the ground, but I don't know what's going on with those furnaces. If there's no furnaces or the furnaces are broken, that could add to the cost. So we'll have to to fine-tune this a little bit more after your inspection. And then, of course, things are negotiable. You know, I'm not saying you just have to eat cost. We might be able to go back to the seller, see what we can negotiate. That's something we'll have to cross when we get there, though. As far as how the numbers would pan out with this thing, we bring in 1500 you're spending, you know, we're going to budget 75 on repairs, maintenance, vacancy, and non-payment, CapEx. 
you know, we got the roof, right? I would assume it's end of life. Roof's going to be, you know, probably seven, eight thousand dollars on this, and you're going to need to replace that every 30 years. So you got to factor that in. If we put hot water tanks in there, they're going to last another 15 years. But you got to factor in that every 15 years you're spending a thousand on each. As far as furnaces, whether or not this particular property has them and they work or not, if they do work, I highly doubt they're brand new. So you got to spend approximately three grand every 30 years on each furnace. So we're factoring all that in. So even on the months you're not spending anything, you're not spending months on repairs and maintenance, you're not dealing with tenants not paying your rent, you're not dealing with replacing any of those high big ticket items, we're still going to put 75 in your pocket for each of those three line items. So, because you know that the big price tag's coming up, but this is just, you know, remedial stuff. I probably don't need to explain to you. It's, it's obviously not your first rodeo, so I'm sure you're familiar, but that's, you know, more or less education for those folks who are watching your video down the road. Taxes, 71 a month. The property taxes are low on this because the appraised value is low, which is nice because you're going to pick it up cash in a distressed state. So when they reappraise it, it's probably not going to go up too much because you're still going to pick it up very, very low. Because, you know, this particular property, these if these were like fully renovated, rent ready, turnkey, so to speak, you know, this is an $85,000, $95,000 property. So you're going to keep your taxes low doing it this way. Insurance should be 80 bucks a month. In the show notes below, go ahead and click the link. We can save anybody money on their rental insurance. We also own a farmer's franchise. We are appointed in multiple states through multiple carriers. We have access to a lot of insurance carriers that the general public doesn't. All kinds of quirky rental specialists. So we can save you guys a ton of money on your insurance. For instance, we should be able to insure this bad boy for only 80 bucks a month. That's dirt cheap. Water and sewer, that should cost you 150. Lawn care, 44. PM, 150. So in totality, on average, I anticipate you're going to spend 720 bucks a month operating this property. It's going to bring in 1500 That brings you with an NOI, 780 or $9,360 a year on average. And that, my man, with a full all-in investment of 75000 if we got it for fifty and we renovated it for twenty-five, that would bring you up to a 12.5 cap. That is a solid deal. Now, I know you don't want to finance this asset, and I, for you particularly, I don't think it makes much sense. But just so you know, I believe we could get this property to appraise for approximately $90,000 after we renovate it. If we got it to appraise for approximately $90,000 after we renovated it, the bank would be willing to do a refi and loan you $67,500, meaning you'd only have $7,500 into this property. So if you added in an additional $342 mortgage, your net cash flow would now become $438 or, four or $5,256 a year, which would be a 70% return on your money because remember you'd only have 75 stuck into the deal. So it is something to think about, but the deal has legs on its own just as a cash investment with the 12 and a half cap. So I think that would be a solid deal for you. Now what I want to do is I want to go to a word from the sponsor of today's show and then I'm going to get into the second property I found for you. Once you've placed a tenant, there's no need to make trips to the bank anymore because with Rent Tech Direct, you can now accept rent payments via ACH. This automatically transfers money from your tenant's bank account directly to yours, using the same technology that banks do to collect auto and mortgage payments. Your tenants can even log in and make payments with their web browser or their phone. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry. Certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year, you get unlimited free access to our US-based support team by phone, email, and chat who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. All right, Ryan, welcome back. Now, the second property I have found for you, 4601 Memphis Ave, Cleveland, Ohio, 44144. Price at $79,900. If you come over here, you're going to see a recent change from February 3rd. This BOM, that stands for Back on the Market. The property was contingent, and now it is active. The reason this particular property was contingent is because I did an analysis just like this one for another client. We put that thing under contract, and it has since 
came back on the market. What I want to do now is I'm going to take you to the footage I filmed for him, and then I'm going to explain to you why it came back on the market and why I think you should make the move on this property. This thing is already fully rented, and it is being offered by a company called Local. Uh, it is being offered for $79,900. Each unit is two beds, one bath. They're both renting for $650. That's going to be $1,300 a month coming in or $15,600 a year. Now, as far as the location, this is a C-class location. Uh, we have hundreds, hundreds of duplexes in this area just like this one. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, we have a couple on this street I've owned. Uh, one particular property, uh, 4015 Memphis Avenue for years. I believe I bought that in 2013. Uh, we just recently sold it for a hundred thousand dollars. I think we sold it to an investor last year for about a hundred grand. Uh, and that had two tenants paying 750 and it's like the identical property. So I'm going to run this analysis for you based on the current rents, which is 650 a month. Uh, but just know that whenever these tenants do move out, you're actually going to be able to up that rent. You'll be able to get 750 no problem. But you can't just uh, get 750 like snap of the finger, right? You're going to, of course, want to turn the units over, and that's going to cost you some coin. Um, so that's why we're going to run the numbers based upon uh, the current rents, because there's no reason to remove folks, right? If they're already paying 650, that's good, man. Maybe we get them on a one-year lease, we renew it, and maybe we try to increase it like 25 bucks a t at a time. You know, you don't want to just immediately go in, take over the property, and be like, "Yo, your rent's 750 right now," because odds are good one or both of those tenants is going to move out. And yeah, when you get a new tenant in there, they're going to pay an extra 100 bucks a month. But dude, that don't make no damn sense. Turnover is what kills your return, not an extra 100 bucks a month. You do not want to create artificial turnover. These are C-class multifamily assets. You're going to deal with enough turnover as it is. That's just part of the business. It's the nature of being uh, a C-class multifamily landlord. People are going to move in. They're going to move out. Nobody dreams. Nobody wakes up in, in the morning and goes, man, I hope today is the day that I get to live in Al's $80,000 duplex from here on for the rest of my life. Dude, that's just not how it rolls, right? Uh, so you got you to gotta think of that. So be smart, man. This thing is going to pencil out a solid return right now. So don't, don't be crazy. Don't try to remove that. So if you picked it up at 79.9, which I absolutely think you should, and I think we got to go in hot, man, just boom, 79.9, make our offer 79.9, no messing around, contingent on inspection. This is a great price. I see no reason why the listing agents won't get multiple offers here. If we're doing that, we're bringing in 1300 a month, what are we going to be spending? Well, we need a budget 65 for repairs, maintenance, vacancy and non-payment, cap X items. Now, repairs and maintenance. It goes back to what I was talking about, creating artificial turnover. You're probably not spending 65 bucks 12 months of the year. You're more than likely spending zero for a very long period of time, and then boom! You got a three, four, five thousand dollar turnover when your tenants move out. Uh, that's also why you're uh, calculating sixty-five. You're putting that in your pocket every month, knowing that when vacancy and non-payment of rent rears its ugly head, you know you're going to be missing out on some rent for a month or two. Why, uh, you know, we look for new tenants and we fix things up, or you know, it happens. You know, sometimes the tenants they stop paying rent, but they don't move out. We got to evict their asses. Uh, so that's all part of the game. Capital expenditures, that's you saving for your big ticket items, furnaces, hot water tanks, uh, roofs, things of that nature. Uh, as far as the taxes, 115 a month, insurance, 80 bucks. In the show notes below, I've got a link to our farmer's insurance office. Anybody watching the show right now, I want you to click that because we will do everything in our power to lower your insurance premium on any of your rental properties. And I'm not talking just Ohio rental properties, guys. If you own properties in any of the 50 states, we will do our very best to lower that insurance premium for you because that's what we do. Insurance by investors for investors. Water sewer. As a landlord here in the Cleveland market, you got to pay for that. That's going to be about 150 a month. That is an uh, estimate. Some people, you know, take long showers. Some people take uh, short showers. Some people shower twice a day. Some people shower once every two days. Uh, that would make them kind of a savage. But, hey, man, it is part of the game. I've seen some nasty houses if uh, you don't believe me on how nasty some of these houses could be. Uh, when you're done watching this video, make sure you check out the Tennis from Hell show. I'll put a couple shows in the show notes below. Uh, from the Tennis from Hell show, I'll throw like a uh, highlight reel of some of the stuff we do on that show for you guys, um, for new viewers out there. Because God damn!
Damn! This game gets savage, baby. Anyway, lawn care. That'll average out to 44 bucks a month. We charge about, I think it's 33 maybe $34 a cut. I have to talk to my team, see exactly what we charge right now for a yard like this. 33 or 34 a cut, and we cut it approximately 18 times a year. This is Cleveland. Al, you know you're in New York, so it's cold there too. Uh, but, you know, folks out there in L.A., Vegas, Florida, you know, sometimes you all might not understand uh, – the weather up here, right? You're not used to the Midwestern weather, but, uh, you know, it's cold in the winter, uh, warm in the spring and the summer. So we only got a cut for part of the year. Uh, so that'll average out to four, four, uh, 44 a month or a total cost of 528 a year. Last but not least, we got property management, $130 a month for Holton Wise to do what we do. So scheduled to bring in 1300 a month. With you budgeting for things that I know are going to happen, variable expenses and fixed expenses. On average, you should anticipate this property costing you to run 714. Um, after that, we have what makes sense, what's important, what really matters, and that is your NOI, and that is 586 a month on average. So you pick it up at 799. You make on average 586 a month. That means you'd be netting 7,032 a year, which puts this at an 8.8 cap. However, you want to finance this, and I absolutely think you should. Uh, that's another thing. Uh, for all those those poor poor souls out there that invested with Morris, uh, again, the video, guys, is in the show notes. And what's really cool about that video, maybe you haven't invested with Morris. You never even heard about it. But you guys should check that out because what it does is at the end of it, we tie it all together and we explain to people how you can avoid being caught up in a turnkey scam, right? Um, and, a, and a big thing from that video and from a lot of the victims that spoke in that video, they were forced to buy properties in cash. Guys, number one, you should always want to finance your investments because you're quadrupling your money, right? Al, instead of paying 80 k you only got to put down $19,975, right? The bank's going to loan you the other $59,925. So that right there, you're quadrupling your money, quadrupling your net worth. The bank's loaning you the majority of the money for these properties, and the tenants are paying off your loans. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Uh, that's why I could be so blunt here on my show uh, and tell you guys about all the messed up shit that happens to property managers because I don't need to sell you guys on investing in real estate. If you're watching this show right now, and you're waiting for me to convince you that you should buy rental properties, you can go fuck yourself. I don't need to do that. I don't care. People have been getting rich investing in real estate long before I've been alive. People have made hundreds of millions of times more money than I've made in real estate investing. It's a proven industry, so I don't need to sell the industry to you, man. So if, if, if you're watching this and you think that that's what I'm going to do, again, man, fuck off. I'm not, I'm not here to do that. I don't have to prove this industry to you. It's just obvious that uh, that's what it is. It's a proven industry. It's, uh, you know, they ain't making any more land, folks. So with that said, if you finance this thing after the tenants are paying off your mortgage, that's bringing you in $303 a month on average. And remember, you got the loan from the bank. The tenants are paying off that loan for you. In addition to that, how great that is, it still allows you to make a ton of money because that puts you at a net cash flow after your mortgage of 283 a month on average or 3396 a year, which is a 17% return on your money. That 17% return on your money should make you want to finance every single rental property you buy. But that, going back to that video again, that is not the only reason you should finance. And we talked about that in the video. Another reason you should finance is because it's going to say it's going to protect your ass. It's going to keep your ass safe. If you guys are out there, you're investing in these Midwestern markets, you know, Cleveland, Detroit, Indianapolis, Birmingham, Alabama, Kansas City, Missouri. I don't know. All these flyover states that you may or may not be familiar with. If you're being forced to pay everything cash, you could make some serious mistakes and you could drastically overpay for properties. Again, that's what a lot of the folks in the, the Morris documentary claimed happened to them. But if you finance it, remember I told you guys, the bank, they're bringing in the majority of the money. They're bringing in three-fourths of the money. The bank's going to protect you. Why? Because they're protecting their own interests. You're... Like with this particular property, Al, you're only putting up $19,975. The bank is putting up almost sixty k. So who's got more at stake in this deal? You or the bank? The bank does. So they're not going to let you drastically overpay. They're going to go in. They're going to do an appraisal. So you grab yourself an appraisal 
and you get yourself a third-party home inspection. These are the types of things you could do to ensure nobody's uh, rolling the, the wool over your eyes or trying to screw you over. Um, so at this particular property, though, man, solid deal. Love this deal. I think we need to go in hot, $79.9. Um, then, of course, you're going to want to make a contingent on inspection and appraisal. There'll be no problem with this thing appraising for that price. Again, I sold one down the street for 100 Granted, mine was nicer, um, but, you know, just know that you're getting a $20,000 discount, and, of course, you get $200 worth of additional rent that you can get. So when one of these tenants moves out, you're going to want to um, go ahead and make their units look really nice and get yourself $750. Speaking of that, before we move on to the next property, I didn't even show you the pictures. Let me show you the pictures of this thing. All right. Okay, backyard. Nothing special, right? This is just C-class investing. Like I said, if you want to get that 750, you're going to need to spruce up these units. There's no scenario where one of these tenants, when they move out, we're going to be able to do nothing to this particular unit and get you 750, right? We're going to have to spruce it up. So I would anticipate when that time comes, spending at least 5k per unit. But then again, once you do, man, you'll be able to get 750 a month out of each unit or 1500 a month. And like I said, the house I sold down the street, sold that bad boy for 100 k All right, Ryan, welcome back. So here is what happened since I did that analysis, sent it to my client. We ended up putting this thing under contract at full price. And my client, we made it contingent upon the home inspection, so we sent in his home inspector. When the home inspector got there, one of the tenants was fine. They let us in the unit. We did the inspection. I have that inspection report. I can forward that over to you. You'll just want to send us an email, sales at holtonweiss.com. If you'd like to get that, I'll send it over to you. The other tenant, you know, they turned out to be a problem tenant. They, they gave the inspector a hard time. They wouldn't allow entry into the unit, even though it's already been set up through the property manager, the seller, all that jazz. Everybody knew this was going to happen, but the tenant just changed their mind. They were decided to become a problem. They didn't want to let anybody in their property, or in their unit, rather, right? That's part of rental real estate investing, man. That kind of thing happens, but you're the kind of guy that already knows that. My other client, he was a little taken back by this. He was a little nervous about this. So he decided to, uh, you know, just cut the plug, you know, pull the cord on this one, not pull the trigger on this deal anymore because we couldn't get into the other unit. And it became apparent that tent was going to be a problem, possible eviction right after he took it over. He decided to just exit the deal. Now, when I gave this information to the listing agent, she very much wanted to keep the deal together. So she talked to her client, came back to me, and they were willing to offer a $5,000 discount to take it as is and said that odds are good that that troubled tenant was going to be out of the property sometime in February. So what I'm thinking, especially since you're cash, that guy wasn't cash, they're having some issues with that tenant, with the property. They're already willing to come down in price a little bit. I think we can come in very aggressive, maybe put in an offer of 70 and see what happens. If you want to make a contingent on another inspection, you can do that. Or if you just want to make it as is, because I already provided you the third-party inspection report we just got, you know, like a week ago, I think that would be a very, very strong offer to that seller that says, hey, we know there's problems, we don't care, here's our price. If we do it that way, you know, I think picking it up for 70, maybe even the high 60s, like 67, 68, I think that's very, very doable. You got cash, you got experience, and we have, you know, the lowdown on the property. We know more about the property than the average investor would because I've already been through this with another client. That's a lot of information that we have that the general public doesn't. So I think we can get in there, use the fact that you're cash, use the fact that you're not that worried about risk, you don't need cash flow right at the very beginning here. I think we can come in and get you a really solid deal, get you this property priced under what it should be. So if you want to make an offer on this property or the first property I had that was listed by Keller Williams, you can go ahead and send an email to my team, sales at holtonweiss.com. We'll be able to write both offers for you. If you want to do one or both of them contingent on inspections, we'll be able to set you up with home inspectors. And uh, we'll be able to take care of the management for you after the fact. As you already know, for everybody else who's watching this, just go to our FAQ for all information 
on our property management services. We are top to bottom here at Holton Wise, so we'll give you the education. We'll help you buy the property. We'll manage the property. We'll take care of your insurance. We even got title for you. We do the whole thing here in Cleveland. So if you'd like to work with me one-on-one -on -one just like Ryan is, Go to HoltonWise.com, click the Property Search for Sale tab. Go to the MLS Search Analysis. Get yourself a personalized analysis just like this one. Or if you'd like to browse for free, make sure you're subscribed to our mailing list, and we will send you an episode of the Investment Properties for Sale show every day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which has a full video tour of a property that we are selling here at Holton Wise because we are the number one seller of rental properties in the Cleveland market. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise. And this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's going to keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me. And then after you close, holding wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. U.S. Reeb is a full service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single family and multifamily investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. REAP has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REAP is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video just like this one to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.